Hey everybody, it's Mike here, the Vandigan Geek. I am out here geeking out in my garage again, um, working on somewhat of a kind of a Westy project, uh, a little bit more of an other project, but I want to share with you because it could be applicable to those of you who don't have West Valios, don't have auxiliary battery systems, and you maybe want to create one. So um, some of you may know that I have um, my West Valios in 1982. I've got a full auxiliary battery system in there. Um, I only run a 50 amp hour um, lithium battery and uh, I have a uh, Renault G controller and a 100 watt Renault G panel, this panel here. And um, that panel goes up on my cargo tray. It's got four pins. I can pull it out really quickly and I've got about 25 feet of cord, as you can see down here on the ground. Um, so my other vehicle is a Jeep TJ 2003 Rubicon. That's this guy back here. Um, I do love my Jeep Rubicon, I do love my van, um, but every now and then I want to go camping in the Jeep. I do have a little camp trailer, but I do not have an auxiliary battery system, so I decided to use my existing controller, or excuse me, my existing panel and create my own portable auxiliary system. So I want to share that with you because for those of you with tin tops or you don't have auxiliary battery systems, maybe you have other vehicles you might want to use it for. Um, I think it's kind of a cool little setup. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the cost involved with this. So here it is. This is my Stanley Toolbox portable power system. So this is on wheels. I can roll it around. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Look at that. Okay. Um, I took my cord off of my Renogi. I plugged it in right over here. Got a little grommets going in there. And inside this baby, is where the magic happens. So, I open it up. This is a 100 amp hour deep cycle sealed lead acid battery. Uh, this one in particular is made by Interstate. Nothing too fancy. And then I purchased a Renault G uh, Voyager controller. Fully waterproof, um, just a good simple controller. Uh, and then I grabbed this little three panel switch from Nylite. Um, so it's all wired up right now. I just finished it up um, and uh, so kick this baby on. I got power to my USB here. Kick this baby on. I got power to my 12 volt. This switch I'm actually going to wire into a master power so it turns the system on and off. Uh, right now it's just sitting there dead. Um, so pretty simple little system and there is room for another battery if I wanted to add it in here. It's going to get awfully heavy if I do that but if I wanted to put um, my uh, if I wanted to put an inverter in there, that'd probably be a good spot for it if it doesn't get too hot. Um, but just a simple little system. I can throw this in my Jeep. I can throw it in a 4Runner. I can throw it in the car, go camping for the weekend. Um, and that 100 watts will last quite a while if you're just charging small devices. So anyways, um, that's it. And I will put a link to some of these products below if you are interested. Um, feel free to comment. Again, if you just happen to come across this and you've never heard of me before, definitely subscribe to my channel. I love doing projects like this because it's just fun. It's simple. Um, one of the other things I did to this, um, I drilled some holes in the plastic so I can run my charger cords up and then out this little side panel here. So uh, working with plastic is easy and fun. Um, this unit, the way I've cut holes in it, it's still waterproof so this can sit out in the rain. It's not going to hurt anything. I can keep a little extra components in here if I want to. So anyways, that was all. I just thought I'd share it. Uh, feel free to leave your comments below. And um, we'll see you guys out on the trail.